I went to uh, my interview with uh, WBBM News, News Radio. Interview with you, it's probably more of an outer view. <laughs> my folks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one so i go to the interview okay and i don't know if you know anything about these news organizations this is a cbs radio station but i want to say up front killed the interview is it an o and o o and o oh jesus what is killed the interview what's an o and o and owned and operated or is it a cbs affiliate it is owned and operated by cbs radio okay now i go in there i do the interview for some guy some guy. I What's he, Korean? No. Listen. Some guy. S U M G A I. Some guy. You you Me? know him. Some guy Chang. Why do you want to work? Why do you want to work at the news? I'm like, oh, sir. Radio. <laughs> so I kill the interview. Then he goes, I want you to fill out uh, a couple forms and then we're gonna introduce you to the program director. I get in there. Who is uh Holy smokes. Okay. Uh, Young hung guy. <laughs> what are the other ones? Come on. Terry Yakimoto was his name. Ter- Terry Yakimoto, my supervisor. Terry Yakimoto in the backseat of my Toyota. Now, I go in there. Mr. No, there's no Asians. All right. Okay, it's I'm, all white. Terry Yakimoto. They're all dressed nice. Brand new, beautiful. Mr. CB- Michael David. <laughs> So pleased to meet you. I am a teriyaki moto. Yeah. All we talked about was shipments. It was very weird. Shipments and deals. and Oh, I like a pedex. I had to sign autographs for his daughter who was in love with me. You know, over in Tokyo, Red Bar is very big. Tokyo Red Bar Radio. Are you done? Because some of the listeners want to know how this went. Hi. Mr. Teriyaki Moto. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Are you done? Yeah, whatever. Is it out of your system? Yes. So I go in there. So he introduces me to the program director who has this look what, on his face. What was his name? Ron's. I don't want to say any last name. What was it? What was his fake Asian last name? Ron Hamachi. Okay. Ron Hamachi. Yeah, he tried to sell me these great knives, <laughs> which I wasn't buying. Oh, my good David, you must buy some uh, of Ron Hamachi's knife. What's the... And then I did a snap zoom, and I was right in his face. Oh, snap a zoom. Oh. Are you done? I really want to get this story out there. Okay, please tell the rest of the story. So I get in there, and this guy's got this look on his face like, uh, oof. And the first thing he says is, so you're the podcast guy. And I go, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm, like, coming off this high from the other great interview I just did. So I'm, like, oh, I'm, like, totally uh, myself, and I'm... I'm think i'm doing a great job and he goes yeah we had a couple emails back and forth a couple months back and i go we did and he goes yeah you sent me emails uh talking about your show uh looking for work and stuff and then i remembered i sent out emails to like every radio station saying hey i do this show but i i i'm looking for any sort of work at a radio station i'll do whatever it is you need me to do i can do it and i'll do it great blah 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 But when he read my email, he took it as I was trying to sell him my show to the station. So he wrote back, he goes, "Uh, your comedy talk show is completely inappropriate for our station. So I wrote back this really nasty letter like, hey, it seems like you just scanned over my email, buddy. But I wasn't looking to sell my show. I was just looking to work. And I don't see what doing a comedy show on the side has anything to do with my work ethic at your news station. And we, like, fought back and forth. And, like, I realized it the minute we walked in the door. So, but I didn't show it. I didn't show it. I I, I did a really good job. And I did such a good job that I made him flub. You know how, like, when someone gets nervous, it happens during interviews or, like, a phone call before the interview where right when you're about to say thank you, you're like, uh, 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 lots of thanks a lot. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You know how, like, sometimes people get. never say that. I know not you, but you know what I mean? Like, sometimes people get wrapped up and they flubble the last word because they're, like, excited to get off the phone, nervous, and it all kind of comes out funny. That's what I made him do. He, uh, when I was walking out, he goes, well, uh, uh, I'm coming in for thanks. I, uh, thanks for coming in. <laughs> he didn't and, say coming in. Well, for it was like that. It was like that. Uh, <laughs> we are. Houston, we are uh, coming in for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
coming runway for- five niner coming in for thanks. But he <laughs> knew he fucked it up and he looked ashamed. And I, uh, I, I gave him one of these. I, 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 I looked at him in the eye and I kind of pointed and tilted my head and I go, Oof, "You fucked that one up." No, you didn't. When am I uh, starting? No, no, but he ended it. You said thanks, and then walked into a glass door. What was? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? I I almost was too energetic because at the end of the, his little interview, he goes, "Do you uh, have any questions?" And I go, "When do I start?" And he goes, "Well, we have to look over other applicants, and uh, we'll look." And I'm like, "It was, uh, you know." I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. I, I get it. I know, I know." And he's just really out of touch. Uh, but the other guy loved me, and I think he's going to give me a chance. Uh, I would be – you, you want to hear what I would be doing for the very important news? Uh, spinning it? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that. I would be, you know, uh, writing up fake news. Acting as a gatekeeper to decide what filters through to the corporate interests? Sort of. He asked me during the interview, he goes, uh, where do you uh, get your news from? And I'm like, oh, I go all over. I get Yahoo, CNN, MSN. And he didn't look happy. He's like, oh, we, you, you can't go to those establishments to get news for our show. And then I go, and then I go to AP. And he goes, ah, there you go. AP. Oh, what he was searching. It's like, it's like it's some little trade secret. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because if I would have just said like, oh, I go to Yahoo and Google News and uh, CNN, he would be like, well, you know what? That's copyright infringement. You know nothing about the news. He was like testing me the whole time. This is what this guy you said to me. should be like, I hit the pavement, pal. I hear it from the people on the streets. He goes uh, He goes to me, he goes, uh, redbarradio.com. That's a comedy show. You know this isn't a comedy station. And I go, I'm wearing a tucked-in shirt and a blazer. I know it's not a comedy station. I didn't say that, but I'm like, oh. Did you tuck the blazer in now? No, you do news, but it's more opinionated entertainment stuff. You can't do that here. It's got to be factual. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I wanted to get up and go, you know what? This interview is over. You, how are you here? How did you make it to this position? Hey, if you're listening, Ron, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Buddy. Nice. Let's say hi to Ron Hamachi, everyone. Yeah. Uh, oh, Michael D. in the shirts mirror. But I think the... Uh, Internet or radio show. Nobody in the shirts. Ron Hamachi. Oh, send a school of a ninja. No more. <laughs> oh, come on. I died. No more. The studios are beautiful. On the 11th floor of the Prudential Building on Michigan Avenue overlooks the entire city there. Uh, I need this job. Overlooks on the 11th floor? Yes. 11 stories is high because they have very high ceilings. 11 stories? Well, there's thousands of stories in the library. (laughs) I'm going to go to the library and rip out every page. Okay. Well... Albert Einstein signed an autograph for me once. <laughs> Most probably worth money. Good for her. <laughs> um, Star Jones. Star Jones. Is co-hosting uh, some radio show all week. Star Jones. Star Jones is co-hosting <laughs> this radio show all week. Star Jones. I could have just put a, a digital what? delay on. What delay? Okay, Star Jones is Star host. Jones. Star Jones. <laughs> this is where the listeners start going. Yeah, David Angela needs to stop. I that know. Repeating my shit. listeners, listeners, go into my forum, davidangelo.redbarradio.com slash forward http feedback. I think period. the computers would blow up at that point with that address. They would just explode. They'd blow up. Can I? Can we cover this? I'm trying to get into my WBBM news mode. Yeah. I have to cover these stories. It's Star Jones. We can't do this on the real news. What? Talk about Star Jones? Yeah. You know why? Because you hold up your hand to one ear when you're doing the news. Why? You know what the guy said to me during the interview? He goes, about that hair, you're going to need to uh, part that on the side if you want to work here. No, I'm like, not. are you serious? No, I didn't say He's that. like, you're going to have to part that on the side and about those teeth... Uh, look into some veneers there. I'm like, what? I'm not an anchor man. No, he's I like, didn't say that. Everyone's an anchor man. 
He didn't say that. He's like, if you're not striving to be an anchorman, you have no business at this station. We all want to be anchormen. I'm sorry. He said that? Yeah. You're lying. He's like, you got a bow tie? It's fucking radio. I know. But everyone was dressed like professionally. And I think they're more interested in cake over there. Everyone's eating cake 24-7. I brought in a doozy. They're eating cake. Oh, cake breaks. How the about you broadcast you, the news? Time out. The guy told you to part your hair to the side. He goes, you're going to have to grow that hair out and part it to the side. No, he didn't say do that. You, do do you have say. shoe polish? See, now I know it's a lie. Do, do you have shoe polish, son? All right. I, I was actually concerned. He goes, and say. pinstripe that suit, for God's sakes. You got to wear spats on your shoes. He goes, Get a chalk line and pinstripe that suit, for God's sakes. This isn't Jamaica. This isn't Jamaica. Folks. I was totally thrown off. Everyone was wearing hats, you know, with the notes in the side. It said press in there. He's like, if you're not getting out of an oversized Buick that's completely black with 40s curves and one windshield wiper that r- rapidly goes in front of your face, then you're not ready for the news. When you drive down the street in one of those, the background is really, like, unstable. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know 40 yeah. cars. The background's wildly unstable. Because, <laughs> is your car, d- does your car have a working crank on the front grill? Oh, come on. Because if it perfect. doesn't have a crank, you're not going to be able to get from point A to point B. What, what are the other news things? They were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, this just in. <laughs> yeah, he goes, and, and, and uh, when you get on the street, we're going to need you to have uh, flash bulbs, uh, a whole stick of flash bulbs, because they'll burn out on you. And when you don't have a flash bulb ready, and you go to click, and smoke comes out, you're going to be stuck without a story. And I'm like, sir, I have a digital camera. He's like, oh, 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 Mr. Make Believe from the future. No. Get a flashbulb and get a pinstripe suit, for God's sakes. Uh, radio's changed since my day. Back in the 30s when I worked in radio, it was all about, you know, being real cool and hip. And He's like, is that, is that a belt you're wearing? We wear suspenders in the news. Suspenders? We wear suspenders in the news. Write that down, C. And I'm like, write that down, C. He's like, we don't quote C. We don't write that. Did you write that? I wrote that. Be like, don't forget not to quote C. And then I showed him the paper. It just said jerk on it. He's like, oh, flabbergasted again. <laughs> flabbergasted again? Yeah. <laughs> uh, your anachronisms are a little rusty. He's like, what's your name, Mike David? That's not going to work. You need a last name like Johnson or... or uh, McGillicuddy. Yeah. <laughs> because when I, I can't yell, David, get in here. Carmichael. I have to yell. <laughs> Carmichael, get in my office. Yes. In fact, I'm going to call you Carmichael. That's what everyone's going to refer to you as. David Carmichael. I'm like, are you the <laughs> husband of that woman who works at my library? Because you guys sound exactly alike. You mean Judith. Hey, you just knocked some papers over. Then he got real sensitive when I talked about his wife. And he's like, oh, Judith. And he looked at his picture frame. Then he goes, but we're not talking about my family. Get back to work. And I'm like, you haven't hired me yet. He's like, ah, pinstripes and cigars. Wasn't this guy Asian? (laughs) Oh, this is the stupidest show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what I was trying to get to is Star Jones, co-host, don't do it, co-hosting a radio show, a caller calls in and kind of throws her off. Here's the call. Why don't we talk to somebody right here uh, online? Bob from Philadelphia um, has a, a tip for us. Bob from WHAT 1340 on your dial. What is your holiday healthy tip? Hi, Star Jones. We love you out here in Philadelphia. I am glad to know. I got to hear that again. I didn't catch that the first time. The guy says he's from WHAT. <laughs> What? Has a, a tip for us. Bob from WHAT 1340 on your dial. What is your... Ho- There's no 1340. On AM? No, it doesn't go 1340. Yeah, it does. does it? Yeah. Well, AM. It would be cool if there wasn't. Okay. Holiday healthy tip. Hi, Star Jones. We love you out here in Philadelphia. I am glad to know it. I love Philly. You should have brought me a cheesesteak yeah, this you morning. Remember That's Kid my Chris? favorite. You remember Kid Chris? He's a big fan of yours out here in Philadelphia. Oh, what? Wonderful. My best, my best, you guys. Yeah. So what? Good. What? Tell me what your what your tip is. Okay. Um, you know when, we, when you have guests over and you have a party, 
Um, now, when I invite my kid Chris over, how fat are you, Star Jones? And is your husband gay? <laughs> you know, you know, there are some people in this world yeah. who are just rude and ignorant, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait till you hear her come back. It's going to blow your mind. Just call in. You don't have nothing else to do. You just decided somebody just paid you $300 to call in and be ignorant. And I don't know if she knows the radio game as well as people like me, but... Uh, no prank caller gets paid. And, yeah, and, they do. Oh, do they? To oh, call sure. in the radio sessions? Yeah. I know you just got paid $300. Because she does it all the time. Yeah, she pranks She's people. She's calling in the W, w hat yeah. over in Philadelphia. And she Go ahead, go ahead, play. You think that's going to embarrass me? Brother, let me tell you something. You can't, ca you can't carry my briefcase. <laughs> She's kind of taking them down. What does that mean? That's an insult. But let me tell you, you can't mm -hmm. carry my briefcase, yeah. literally, because it's filled with ham. No, because she's saying that that she's uh, she's a big shot and he's not. He's a nobody. Who carries a briefcase besides Michael J. Fox? <laughs> Seriously, Star Jones. Uh, she carries a briefcase, the silliest item in the world. You could fit nothing in a briefcase except an apple. Well, you're gonna need a banana to work over and a gun. At, uh, CBS Radio. Every yeah, I'm gonna. So, son, do, do you have a briefcase? It better be quarter van. <laughs> you better bring a briefcase into work, and it better have a banana, an apple, and a gun. And I ain't talking an automatic. It better be a revolver of sort. What do I need a gun for? Oh, oh, you're not ready for the news. The news. And you couldn't get into the schools that my husband graduated from. So take because their metal detectors are too powerful. Because he went to Howard University. Yeah, you couldn't get into the schools where my husband went to. Where did his husband go to? Let's uh, find that out. St. Mary's High, Southside. St. Mary's High. That's a that's a type of weed out of California, isn't it? Go ignorant behind and go someplace else. Next question. <laughs> Next question. He should have been like, uh, let's see. Uh, why do you love sandwiches so much? The next caller is like, yeah, hi. Uh, <laughs> how much do your arms <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just your arms. <laughs> Are you made entirely of chocolate? I am not made of chocolate. I might look like I'm made of Godiva. You could not. But I'm more like Lady Godiva. <laughs> you could not digest the cocoa bean. <laughs> yeah. That I have in my cereal. Star Jones, I was just wondering uh, what kind of Play-Doh your face is made from. My it is made from brown. <laughs> what the hell? From I brown. mean, my ma my face is made out of human skin. I don't know where we got that information about Play-Doh. Star, who you talking to? Who say my gay? Put the <laughs> Give me a Pellegrino. What? She likes sparkling water. I wish I knew what her husband is. Her husband white or black? Uh, he's black. I think. Yeah, he's black. But he's gay. Is that true? Yeah. Well, the story is she like married to him to uh, like cover. It's kind of like Oprah's boyfriend. You know, is how, like, Star Jones gay. Um, gay in the sense that she's like dumb and like a, no, like a lesbian. No, I'm saying she, I don't think she's a lesbian. I think they call her gay. Like uh, you're a fag. Yeah, but they're saying her husband's like. Oh, that her husband's a gay. Yeah, like why would she marry a gay guy? Uh, Unless she was also a lesbian. I don't know. Uh, the wonderments that boggle our mind. I don't know. It's uh, one of those questions we're not going to know until we get to heaven. I mean, Oprah and Stedman, they have sex. Yeah. Stedman. Next question. Next question. Next. Star Jones. Ugh. What? What other questions could we ask Star Jones? Uh, hey, Star, is that your Christian name, or did you just change it to that after you got fat? <laughs> i tell you something about fat. I'm going to go home and put gummy worms on a plate with spaghetti sauce and have myself gummy worm spaghetti. What are you going to eat? I'm going to eat this guy's dick because I'm your husband, and I'm <laughs> gay. Oh, yeah? Next question. Yeah. Next me, question. Let me hear the next question. I'm gay. Let's go to the phone. Hey, we have a phone call.